Welcome back, everyone, to StarCraft II, Legacy of the Void. You're here with Man Lefevre, otherwise known as Drax Raven. It's time for us to commit, perpetrate some warp travel to Endion or Ravanskar. What's here? The Taldarim and Alarak have joined our fight, but we cannot strike against Ire until Amon's armies have been brought low. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. Let's we will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna go to Endion first. And I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their. What are the Cybros? And why are there three I million of them? Many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artemis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. Oh. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against a slave master? I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once. I do like how Vorzin's got nothing to add. She's just like, mm -hmm. We're getting the robots. Treat them like people. Oh. The purifier stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. Oh no. Detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigans. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Whether he knew we would come for them, or he's simply using the uh, forest to devour biomass, eh, remains to be seen. But largely irrelevant. Greetings, Hierarch. Yo, what up, Kerax? The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy. It certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Sounds schmancy. Once the down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. And Phoenix? I know this will work, Hierarch. I know I can guide the purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am, how I came to be. Now, things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes, you embark upon a task that even Phoenix could not achieve. Yet he would attempt it if he could. I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. I am Phoenix, but not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. Aww. I'm glad Phoenix is Our adapting. reporting the Dominion is attempting to fight back the Golden Armada. Despite their efforts, multiple systems have fallen. Unsurprising, it is the Golden Armada. What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lantinum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots. 
created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. If they are Templar, they will fight. It's what they do. The shield emitters on India must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyrus. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. Okay, so I've got to destroy all Zerg structures. Burn them all out. And their little caves, too. Oh, whoopsie daisy. I knew I was facing Zerg and I didn't change things around. And, you know, my forces will be fine. I got the Void Rays. They can they can deal damage to multiple Zergs at once. That That's just as good, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Cyrus, the Vault of the Purifiers. It is fortunate that Avon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. You mentioned I'll this. begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. Well, that's good. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. Delightful. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Hello, Colossi. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi. Steam cliffs besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. I think you'll find that they fare very well. <laughs> You know, as they outrange spine crawlers. Be gone, creep tumor. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. Zergs just love caves. They're like goblins. Just love them. Zap. Zap. Double zap. Additional zapping. Yes, but if you pierce their shields, then the healing beam will repair them. Oh no, I, I do not yet have assistance from the uh, from the Spear of a Dune, so that can't happen. Goodbye, Broodlings. Get dunked. Well done. The area is secure. Warp coordinates for our nexus point are locked. Karax, activate the megalith. I don't think it's going to be that simple. It just never is. Authorization in progress. The megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. I'm shocked. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. The megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. And now we have a robotics bay. Perfect. Uh, an energizer will not be necessary. But I do want dragoons. I have returned. Hmm. I love that sound. Is beautiful. I want to hear it again. I have returned. <sighs> Never gets old. Hmm. 
the megalith should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. I am on it. Defenses are being constructed. I almost said constructions are being defended. I mean, they're both correct. The Megalith is our mine. We must ensure it reaches the stasis locks safely. Oh, it can walk around. Eep. Ooh. I want the shinies. The megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. Well, that's good. We need to babysit this thing all the time. Whoopsie doopsie. My hand slipped. Don't worry about it. Okay, get me some energizers. Do they have an attack? Okay, the energizers too. Sanitation beam! We are here to sanitize you. Oh, jeez. I can't imagine getting speed up, sped up. I'm detecting Zerg movement. Warriors, ensure none reach our nexus point. Nope. I do not have a forge constructed. And you know what that means? No photon cannons. And you know what that means? We die. Best end of that. The megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. I'm on it. More probes. Got to get those shields. Shields for everything. Dealing with the Protoss here. Everything's got shields. Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the next one. Oh. Huh. Oh, gracious, the dying in droves. Need more zealots? Get in there and start zealing. Oh, look at them be healed. Tis grand. Oh, hey, you can start walking around again. has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the solarite components within. Slick. I'm always down with that. Oh, hey, you know what? I was just thinking, we'll nab some of those later. Nuts to that, we'll nab some of them now. Actually, could you warp in a Templar archive? We're running kind of high on Vespine. Yeah. Kind of a problem. Might as well drop down a pylon somewhere. You have not One more. There we go. Hmm. The megalith's work is nearly complete. It will move again soon. Is there anything over here? Oop. 
Oh, ho, ho. There is a hive. But don't mind me. Well, I summon a bunch of Templar. Oh no. It's moving. Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The megalith is en route to the third lock now. Oh boy. Oh, good. It seems to be caught up by this creep tumor. The megalith is proceeding to a canyon. Oh no. Head. I am detecting numerous Zerg signatures in that region. We must assist it. Oh, what the hell is that? Go, go away, Ultralisk. You go squish now. Remni. Darn it. Give me one of these things. Blow them all up. Ooh, ominous. I like that Colossi I can walk over things. It's the best. Oh dear god. Perfect. has been secure. Warping it aboard now. Did it on purpose. No biggie. No problem. Get a probe over here. We obviously require more resources. More zealots! Did I say more zealots? I meant more pylons. Ouch! Rude! The probe made it. I mean, of course he made it. Why? Why wouldn't he make it? Yeah. <laughs> the darkness will be repelled. My charge. What happens when we blow up these baneling nests? They explode in acid. Who'd have suspected? Oh, it doesn't seem to deal any damage. Well, that's good. Aha! Nice try, fools! Wow, some attack. Oh, okay, so only Colossi can walk up there. Because only they are tall enough. My apologies to all small friends. Okay. Lock is almost destabilized. The megalith will relocate shortly. I know it's too much. No, I don't care. Just dropping a pylon. Just a safety pylon. Okay, and then this leads back. That th this leads a double back. Okay. Whew. Oh no. The third lock has been disabled, and the megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. I know that's good, but it still makes me nervous. Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. Delightful. Ass. You, dutiful probe. 
There. It is a fine pylon farm. Crush them all. A significant number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. There should be a warp field somewhere. I ordered a... Through adversity. Never mind, there was not. Turn it. Phasing mode. There we go. Crimney. Oh, jeez. There we go. Where are these caves? I do not spy any caves. Oh, there's a cave over here. Oh, look. There is a cave, as spoken of. Oh, look. Another cave. Totally, totally lost track of it. Oh, God. And those zealots are dead. Just kidding. For reasons beyond my controller understanding, they miraculously survived. Thank goodness we were wearing our plot armor. Would have been bad if we weren't. Phase link authorized. The megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. Thank goodness there are no flying units up here, right? Both power cores have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately. That'd be really embarrassing. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Oh no! I think a sentry got destroyed. Sadness goes on the stack. Sadness resolves. Base is under attack. Damn. <laughs> no mercy. I am too lazy to micro. But you already knew that. The hour is upon us. More. All the merging. The merging will be complete. Stabilization is nearly finished. Is it unjust? The megalith will disembark soon. For me to force all of these uh, Templar to do to do the thing they're doing? Maybe. Do I care? Not really. Does that make me evil? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm not sorry. Oh God! They're all on fire. Let me guess, Megalith, you want to come up here? There yeah, you do. Zerg hive cluster between the Megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. Our only option is to commit the heinous, heinous murder. Stasis grid at 20%. Wait, I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. So oh no. Disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. Darn it. It appears to be just totally fine. Just a okay. Yeah, we good. Here's a question. If I have one of these things go into phasing mode, oh hey, I can warp units in on creep. Oh, they can also still uh, use their abilities when they're in between modes. They just obviously, well, it's when it's in uh, phasing mode, it can't move. Which, you know, kind of a problem, but only a little one. Yay! The Brood War is complete. Do I have any detectors besides photon cannons? I don't think so. Oh good, they're not gonna make me wait. Thank you. The final lock is destabilizing and the grid is down. 
We've done it. Cybros is free from stasis. Let's see if the purifiers want to play nice. We call our forces from Endion's surface. We take this battle to Cybros. Beep boop, son. Nice. Zerg structures remaining zero. A new combat unit awaits factional assignment hierarch. Ooh. Do it up, Karax. Plan worked, Karax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin to defend itself. Cool. And the purifiers. They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. I mean, it is realistic that they would require Phoenix's presence to sort of, like, accept him. Um... Chrono Surge or deploy pylon? Uh, give me that Chrono Surge. Yo, Phoenix. Cybros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage, resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylom is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose like never before. And that is why the purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for themselves. Without freedom, a people can be controlled, but never united. This is true, and yet... The firstborn have ill need of another enemy. And I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. But now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. The way forward may be difficult, but it is necessary. Thank you, my friend. Aww. To the War Council. I welcome you. Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? Good question. For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs oh. to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros's stasis field. And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kali, a contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. Hmm. To the assembly panel. We have received new robotic siege technology hierarch. Please make your selection. Ooh, so we have, uh, oh, shit. Ooh, old school. We feel your presence. Arbiters. Cloaks, all nearby friendly units. Places enemy units into stasis and can teleport friendly units to its location. Enemies in stasis cannot be attacked, nor can they attack. Uh, if your opponents don't have anti-air, they cannot destroy the Arbiter. Lost after the fall of Ire, the technology for Arbiter construction still exists aboard the Spear of Adun. The ability to cloak and recall our forces while placing the enemy in stasis is a valuable addition to our fleet. But it requires a lot of micromanagement, so I'm not going to do it. Destruction is at hand. And we have the choices of robotic siege units. Oh, man. Okay, so we've got the Colossi. That can walk up cliffs, and uh, ooh, now they do area of effect damage. Uh, like, they, they, uh, damage over time. They have a damage over time. Um, and the Reaver. 
Once again, kicking it old school. Automatically build scarabs that explode for very large area damage. Deals bonus damage to structures. Once a mobile manufacturer modified for war, the Reaver's siege capabilities have been vastly improved. Carax has upgraded them with automated scarab production based on the Spear of a Dune Starforge. Uh, they are large, they are slow, and their scarabs uh, do a lot of damage and are dangerous, but I love these guys. Still, I'm going to stick with the Colossi. And to the bridge! What up, Alarak? I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. Was it so different when we gave your people freedom by breaking them away from Malash's grip? Only to deliver them to mine. I could not allow my people to be guided by Amon's lies any further. But make no mistake, they are not free. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix machine as the new executor of the purifiers and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. I... Oh, man. I just love how Alarak, like, does not have it in his vocabulary to not phrase things in the form of an order. Like, he could say, if it were me, I would do this. But he's like, no, you need to do this. This is going to happen. Um, and, I mean, obviously, Artanis doesn't listen, but that's just the way he talks. And I like that. It's thematic. Alarak is a gigantic fascist running around. Uh, he might not be a fascist uh but he's definitely authoritarian um you know very very roman style is weakness do not examine act gracious all right that'll do for this episode of starcraft 2 i gotta forget fascism and authoritarian uh, i gotta remember Author authoritarianism and fascism are not the same thing it just is so frequently that they are the same thing good night everyone